Okay. Hey, everyone. Um, thank you once again for joining me uh, as I talk a little bit about uh, my preparations for my uh, uh, outing into the uh, woodlands here in the area. Uh, those of you who have seen the um, recent video of the new uh, bushcraft knife I, that I received from um, uh, Tony Harding over in the UK, um, uh, thank you for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, <clears throat> you know that uh, I've just started doing some videos and prep for uh, some of the other things that I'm going to be doing later on at the beginning of um, the coming year. And I wanted to take a minute to talk a little bit about uh, a couple of the things that I picked up for my, <clears throat> excuse me, for my uh, cook set. So uh, let's start with the pouch here. And I'll move this over to the side for just a moment. Uh, the, uh, this comes in a canvas bag. Let me open that up for you. And what I've done is uh, I've put a couple of things in here that uh, d didn't necessarily come together, but just in, just in terms of uh, making it easier for me to place in my pack. Uh, and what you can see here is uh, another item. Let me move that off to the side for a moment. What initially came in the bag is my Kessel bush pot. Uh, <clears throat> now, the reason that I like this is that uh, it's it's compact and it's easy to pack away, and it comes with the handle, as you can see here, that uh, functions in just this way, and that way you can just kind of hang it on to uh, the branch and suspend it over your flame. Uh, it's very simple. And so, it just functions with this little screw. And just like that, you're ready to go. Nice and compact. And I think it does the job. And, and the reason that I kind of uh, decided on this uh, bush pot was because of the handle and the ability to just kind of hang it and suspend it rather than having to kind of thread a full handle uh, onto a, a stick to suspend it over the campfire. Okay, so that's the Kessel bush pot. Again, uh, none of the things that I, I've, I'm, I've already shown you or am showing you are sponsored. Uh, these are the things that I've paid for myself and, uh, and just uh, decided to do a couple of videos to kind of show you guys uh, some of the things that I'm, I'm equipping myself with for uh, some of my upcoming trips. Okay, and again, it comes with this canvas pouch that uh, doubles as a tinder uh, bag for those of you who... Uh, might need that. Let me set that over here. The other thing that uh, I place in there is uh, my uh, small zebra pot. Uh, this is nothing new. Many of you are very familiar with this. Um, comes with a small insert in the top. And this is the 10 centimeter uh, version, the smallest one. Uh, I'll be out solo, so I don't need anything larger. And um, I think it's very versatile uh, to be able to cook several different things, uh, either for breakfast or for uh, dinner, okay? So that's the zebra pot. And then I picked up the MSR uh, frying pan. Again, nice and small, compact. It's uh, stainless steel, but it has this aluminum plate on the bottom that allows the heat to be distributed uh, evenly and of course your small little handle that comes off and that uh, you know can store right there and so for me that makes it very easy to put all of this together just very simply and then put my zebra pot on the inside and then I put that in the bag Okay, so that's the basics of uh, what I'll be taking as my cook system 
And the other thing I wanted to show you real quick is uh, what I'm going to use to carry my water. This is called a Hydro Pack. And uh, I added a couple of clips. You'll see why in just a second. Comes with this nice little bag to store it. And so that carries three liters of water. And the reason that I have the clips I mean, is that you can use these to clip it to, which is what I'm gonna do, clip it to the outside of my pack uh, through um, the molly straps. And that's plenty of water for an overnight uh, and works well in case uh, I need to, uh, you know, go down to the stream and, and refill it. Again, that comes with the little pouch, and I bought the extra clips to attach it to the outside of my my, uh, my bag. And a little tip what I did was uh, fill this up with water and a little lemon juice and let it sit for 24 hours, and that helps to get the you know, whatever little plastic taste uh, might seep into the water. Uh, so, just wanted to show you guys that and uh, hope you like that. And I'll uh, probably do a few more videos before I, I get out at the end of the winter and uh, put up a uh, full length. I, I don't know if I'm just gonna do an overnight or if I'm gonna do a couple of nights, but uh, I'll, I'll post it. Okay, again, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of my gear. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday.